Who's ahead of me? Ooh! Swiffer, that guy out. Swiffer, this guy out. And uh, oh my gosh, this gold gun is definitely something special huh i mean it, it just it just feels great in my hand and it, i don't know why it's just like my performance just goes up i i don't want to sound ridiculous right now uh i don't want these extends jokes to come in uh the picture right now because uh i am talking about performance but the gold gun man i mean i'm in love i'm uh i'm i'm in love you know i gotta say that so i'm chucking a grenade right here and hoping I get a kill because we're going to try to rush this. But I'm just one of those players, you know. I'm just trying to pick off the enemies from behind. You know, I'm just like one of those rushers. And before the game starts, actually, we always game plan who's going to rush, who's going to actually go for the hard points. So don't think I'm not playing objective. You know, me and my teammates actually discussed this and planned it out. So I'm looking for somebody here. Ooh. Do not stand next to the truck. What are you thinking? Oh, there goes somebody else. And I have a little kill streak going. Let me call in my UAV. And where are they? Oh my, he got me. But I'm going to come right back at him. See, they're not going to be expecting me, but I see a lot of them here. Take that guy's head off. So a headshot right there. And look at these guys. They don't even know I'm right there. Come on now. You got to definitely increase that awareness. So I'm searching left and right. Look at this guy coming into the room, acting like he's welcomed. Don't just run into a room. You got to check left and right. At least ring the doorbell, you know? I don't know what these guys are thinking right now. So it's 151 to 54. I get another enemy and another one and even another one. And we do capture the hardcore right now. So it's just a dominating game. I mean... As a team, the score 158 to 60. That tells you a lot, you know? Well, what? No way. No. Are you serious right now? Alright, what is up, people? Two boy onto the boss here. And we have, you know, definitely a lot to talk about in this video. Now, before we start, I would just like to say make sure. That you give this video a thumbs up. Um, hopefully, you know, this video does turn out to be a little interesting topic. Now, before we get into this video, I would like to, you know, sort of share what's going on with the video. Obviously, I have the maxed out um, gun right here, MP4. Uh, I believe that's the gun I'm using. I mean, at this point, MP7, should I say. At this point, my head is so out of the game. I've been up all night just editing the videos that I might as well call these gun. I might just call this gun the M16 because I'm so out of it right now. But anyway, we got the first ever gold gun that I unlocked. I know it took me quite a while. It's maxed out. That means I can have my clan tag and my emblem. So I got my boy Dead Pixel in here. And it's sort of me and him in party mode. And we're playing hardpoint. As you can see, my kill streaks are, I believe, a UAV, airstrike, and I forgot what the other one was. But I got, you know, I got kill streaks. You know, I'm using kill streaks. That's all that matters. So we're playing hard point, and like I said, my objective in this is, I mean, I'm gonna run and try to capture the hard points. But at the same time, uh, as I discuss with my teammates, I'm gonna be trying to pick off um, the enemies from their spawn, so it could be a little harder for them to reach the hard point. It's like a little strategy that we do. So, like I said, um, we do have a lot to talk about, and. You know, I did try to avoid this topic. I'm still trying to avoid it. But, you know, I guess we have to talk about it. So here we go. Monte Teo. I mean, I was blown away. I mean, the first article obviously was from Deadspin and uh, sort of revealed everything. And me being from another country, you know, I am good at English. But the story pretty much lost me halfway through. I got lost. Um, Boss Cakes came on TV and I got distracted. So I didn't really finish the entire article. But all I know is there's a lot of shit going on with that story. I mean, first of all, me personally, me growing up, I don't judge anybody until I know what they truly are. And in my, in my opinion, you know, yes, we are seeing all these Twitter wars, all these, you know. I mean, Monte Teo has been trending for the past three days worldwide, past two days, should I say. I understand why and the reason why people tweet about him. You know, you got to keep Twitter entertaining. That's why these social networks, people don't realize it. That's what keeps social networks going. 
check out Facebook right now. No one gets on Facebook. A lot of people, all my friends on Facebook, they just get on and say, yes, Facebook is dead. It's not entertaining me anymore. That's why Twitter is one of the leading social networks because of stuff like this. That's why ESPN thrives off of these kind of stories. It's just every opportunity that you get to humiliate someone, to make fun of someone, people are going to attack it. That's why Monte Teo is a victim right now. In my opinion, I mean, I don't know what the guy is going through. I don't know if it's actually him. I don't know if it's another episode of Catfish. You guys know Neve, the host of Catfish, actually tweeted and said he's going to get down to it. I pretty much doubt he's going to actually get an episode on MTV if you guys aren't familiar with Catfish. It is pretty much a relationship between two people and one of them is a fake account. So that is a show on MTV. If you guys have never seen it, go check it out. It's called Catfish. Now, the host of Catfish tweeted yesterday and said he's going to try to get into contact with the girl that was pretending to be Monte Teo's girlfriend. And he's pretty much going to make a show out of it. So I don't know how true that is. But all I can tell you is, you know, I kind of feel bad for the guy. I mean, you leave your comments below and you tell me how you feel about it i mean i just don't know like i don't know the entire story so i'm not gonna sit there and judge the guy because technically he did lose his grandmother and unless you have lost someone in your life that was so close to you you know you can't judge someone like that because you know maybe he is a victim of this hawks you know i don't even know how to say that word a hoax a hawk uh, I don't even know, but you guys know where I'm going with this um, until they get the actual word out. Um, I'm pretty much not going to judge this guy, but like I said, um, it is pretty sad because it's happening to him at the toughest times. I mean, NFL combine is coming up. The NFL draft is coming up and to a lot of people that is life changing. And for those that are still going with these tweets about him, for those that are being immature about it, just think about it. You're sitting there behind your computer just trying to crush someone, just trying to humiliate someone. Meanwhile, this guy is getting ready to be a millionaire. Just think about it. You're sitting behind your computer making fun of the guy, just going on his personal life. You don't know what he's going through right now, but yet you are making fun of him. And by me saying you, I don't actually mean you like the viewers. I'm just saying in general, the people that are making fun of him. And, you know, I understand where you're coming from if you are making fun of him. So don't get offended by this video. But, you know, like I said, until the actual story gets out, that's when I will actually judge him, even though I don't judge people. But other than that, you know, you guys can comment. Tell me what you think. Um, we are going to discuss about LeBron James. He got his 20,000 points, the youngest player, 23, 23 years and 17 days, I believe, the youngest player in NBA history. Um, so well, it's going to be pretty interesting to see if he does chase Jordan. So LeBron James did that, and he also eclipsed the 5,000 assist mark. And that is pretty much it. The gameplay is wrapping up. Um, I know it's a mediocre gameplay, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment. Let's make the comment section pretty interesting. Just make sure you tell me what you think about all of this. So it's your boy, Onto the Boss, and I am signing out. If you guys want to stay updated on when all of my videos will be uploaded, make sure you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash onto the boss.